So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and today I'm going to be talking about the fight which is taking place this Friday between Zili Zhang versus Joseph Parker. Now this bout is going to be taking place on the undercard of the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou main event and it's going to be taking part in Saudi and it's going to be a 12 round contest between these two guys. Now these two guys currently, Zile Zhang and Joseph Parker, are coming off, you know what I mean, incredible wins over the likes of um, Joe Joyce and um, Deontay Wilder. And it's a fight which has captured most people's interest and it's probably one of the fights that, you know what I mean, we're kind of looking forward to really because it's going to be a very, very, very competitive fight from the get-go. Now... In regards to both of these guys, um, again, they're both very um, highly ranked amongst the governing bodies. You've got Zile Zhang, obviously he is the interim WBO champion, okay? So um, he is pretty much next in line for um, the belt if it was to be, let's say, vacated by Alexander Usek, who is the, the overall champion. Meaning that he can't be ranked in any of the other governing bodies. Whereas, you've got Joseph Parker, who's highly ranked amongst all the other governing bodies. He's currently number two with the WBO, number three with the WBC, and number three as well with the WBA. In February, he was dropped out of the rankings by the IBF as well. But the Ring Magazine rankings have... Again, both of these guys highly ranked. Zhang, number three, and Joseph Parker, number two. So again, it's a fairly even, evenly matched fight between both of these guys. Um, but it's their recent wins which has captured most of these guys' um, opinions and, you know what I mean, their intrigue and their interest in this fight because um, Joseph Parker's last fight out, which was against Deontay Wilder, uh, most people had Wilder winning this fight before the fight even took place. Um, and they just thought that, it, you know what I mean, Deontay Wilder was going to get to Josie Parker at some point and knock him out, as what Deontay Wilder always and usually does. But it wasn't the Deontay Wilder that we know. He just wasn't himself and he got outboxed. And he, he was the one who nearly got knocked out in the end. And the scorecards were very, very... Um, convincingly one-sided. One judge had um, Josie Parker winning 120 to 108. Um, another judge had uh, Josie Parker 118 to 111, and the final judge 118 to 110. So the scorecards are very, very wide in favour of Joseph Parker, um, and it just goes to show of what type of performance it was. It was a magnificent performance from Josie Parker. Um, and his movement, his power, his punch combination, his willingness to win and to get up and close and to try and knock out Deontay Wilder was exceptional. And for me, this was his best performance to date because it wasn't not long ago, it was only five fights ago that most people were probably saying this could be the end of Joseph Parker because he lost to Joe Joyce back in 2022. Um, the the back end of 22, I should say. Um, he lost by um, 11th round knockout. And it was a vicious knockout at the time. Um, and, you know what I mean, most people were like, I can't see how he kind of comes back in, in, in into contest and maybe, um, you know what I mean, put himself back into the rankings. But he did. He did. His next fight was against a, pretty much a, cr a cruiserweight slash newly heavyweight in Jack Massey. Um, he obviously defeated Jack Massey on, on, on points and most people are like well if you can't knock out a, a cruiserweight who's coming up to heavyweight then what chance has he got he then obviously went back into the ring in in may this, in 2023 and he fought against the guy in i don't can't even pronounce his name Apelli, Apelli, i can't even pronounce his name but he knocked him out in one round anyway this was in melbourne before fighting a simon Keane in october um knocking him out in three rounds which Simon Keane had good credibility at the time and was quite highly ranked amongst the governing bodies before taking on Deontay Wilder in December on, on that undercard of the AJ um, versus, was it, 
Otto Wardner, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot that. But anyway, um, yeah, he's had a tremendous, tremendous 2023. A very, very good year, having four fights, four wins, three KOs, one points decision. So very, very good year for Joseph Par uh, Parker. Um, and again, his, his career's been a bit of a mixed one because he's, at, he's, he's, he's got three losses on his record. You know what I mean? And one 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 out of those three were a KO, and that was to Joe Joyce, which I mentioned um, back at the back end of 22. But his only other two losses came back, both of them, in 2018, where he he lost first, you know what I mean, in the March of 18 to Anthony Joshua by a 12-round points decision, unanimous decision. And then he lost the same to Dillian White so both Brits got the win over him in 2018 and he then had to again claw his way back up into the rankings before obviously taking on you know what I mean Joe Joyce and before he took on Joe Joyce he, he fought back-to-back -back fights against uh, Derek Chisora because the first time round was a split decision uh, win for him and obviously uh, it was a very very tough fight for Joseph Parker, so obviously these guys ran it back, and he obviously got the unanimous decision, which the second time was a lot more comprehensive, and it was about right, whereas his opponent on the other hand, Zele Zhang, you know what I mean, his record is a very, very, very good one, he's currently got 26 wins, one loss, and one draw to his name, with 21 KOs as well, amongst those um, 26 victories. His one loss came back in 2022 to Filip Hergovic on a 12-round unanimous decision. Two judges scoring the bout, 115 to 112 for um, Hergovic. And then obviously the other judge scored it 114 to 113 as well to Hergovic as well. So again, um, yeah, he, he lost that fight, but it was a mixed fight because he had absolutely, in my eyes, destroyed... Philip Hergovic up until this point. It wasn't a very good performance by a Philip Hergovic. He got put down a few times and he was he was getting his head boxed off him. Um but somehow he, you know what I mean he finished the fight quite strong and somehow obviously convinced the judges to score the fight to him. I don't know how. Uh, most people still consider that loss a win for um Zile Zhang. So that's quite a weird one, isn't it? <laughs> but anyhow um, Philip Hergovic got the, the decision and on in the records it, it goes down as a Hergovic win. Anyway, he's got a draw on his record as well. That came back in 2021 to Jerry Forrest as well. That was a 10-round majority decision draw. Um, and again, I didn't watch that fight, but scorecards were very, very close. Obviously, two judges scoring it 93-93. One judge sc scored it 95-93 as well. Um, again, Zhang lost a point for holding, whereas uh, Forrest was Forrest, sorry, was down in rounds one, two, and three. So again, he absolutely got he dropped him quite a few times. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, um, yeah. For Zile Zhang, his last two performances um, after that loss to Philip Hergovic, you know what I mean, were brilliant performances against Joe Joyce, who at the time was ranked very highly and most people were saying that you know what I mean he should be next in line to take on the likes of Anthony Joshua, uh, Tyson Fury and Usyk because you know what I mean he had put on a credible run up until that point Joseph Joe Joyce sorry um and obviously he was known as the juggernaut sorry the juggernaut um and pretty much that terminator vibe where he could take a lot of punishment and keep coming forward sort of thing but Zili Zhang absolutely, absolutely destroyed him in the first fight, annihilated him, blooded him, knocked him down, knocked him out in six rounds, which was, like, crazy to think that he could actually do that to him. And he just made Joe Joyce look basic and ordinary. Um, but, yeah, that was a, a terrific performance in the first fight by Zili Zhang. They obviously ran it back in the September, same year, 2023. But this time, it was another beating. Uh, and Zile Zhang obviously pulled it out again, knocked him out in three rounds this time. So half the time that it took in the first fight. Um, and Joyce obviously took a count a few times. Um, and the, the finish as well, the finish was sensational. 
But anyway, both of these guys are coming off terrific performances in their last fights and against good names as well. But I see this fight being slightly different. And I'm going to say it's mainly going to come down to, to who has the better game plan. I'm going to say for Joe, Joseph Parker, he has to come in there and not try and trade with um, Zile Zhang. He has to somehow stay away from both left and right hands, but mainly the jab of Zile Zhang. He has to try and stay away from that. So he's going to have to come into this fight with some good footwork and good head movement. He can't stay static. If he stays static, um, Zhang is a big guy. So Zhang, you know what I mean? He's got he's a big guy with a big reach, so he will pick off um, Joseph Parker. So he has to, you know what I mean? Joseph Parker has to, sorry, has to have good footwork and good head movement to stay away from that, which I feel as if that will be his game plan. And if he could do that, if he could move his head quite consistently for the full 12 rounds and you know what I mean, have good footwork, then he might just be able to outbox Zile Zhang. Whereas Zhang has to use his, his size, his presence, his weight, and again, that jab. Now, I'm not going to say that, yeah, he has to u utilise, I don't know, the big right hand or the left hook, because he's got power in both, hand, both hands. I can't get my words out. Yeah, he's got power in both hands, Zile Zhang. So, the knockout could come from anywhere. But, I feel that this fight, I mean, it's heavyweight, it's heavyweight boxing, so anyone could get knocked out, but I'm going to edge, I'm going to edge and say that Zili Zhang wins this fight by knockout, and I feel as if it will probably come late in the fight, I feel as if, if Joseph, I feel, sorry, I feel as if Joseph Parker will frustrate Zili Zhang early, um, and we will make the fight hard for him but I feel as if this, the back end of the fight from maybe round 4, 5 onwards, Zili Zhang will probably get used to what Josie Park is doing and you know what I mean, manage to get his jab um, on point and then maybe at some point catch him with a, a big shot whether that be a hook, whether that be a straight right hand, I don't know but I do feel that he has the power to stop Joseph Parker in his tracks. Now, the difference between Zili Zhang and Deontay Wilder is that Zili Zhang has good boxing pedigree and boxing ability behind him. And he will get to Joseph Parker at some point. Whereas with Deontay, Deontay Wilder, you know what I mean? When he fought Joseph Parker, it was, you know what I mean? We were all, everyone was just waiting for that one big shot which never happened, because we all know Deontay Wilder realistically hasn't got any boxing ability, but it's just that power, and we didn't see that from um, Deontay Wilder, but Zili Zhang has power and he has boxing ability. One question mark is his stamina. That's the only question mark for Zhang, but I, do, I am going to favour Zhang in this fight. I'm not saying that Josie Parker can't beat him, I'm not saying that Josie Parker can't knock him out or beat him on points. I just feel that the momentum is just shifting for some reason, shifting in the Zhang way, especially after those two magnificent, magnificent uh, victories over Joe Joe Joyce. Um, I just feel as if it's shifting that way. Um, but the winner of this will go on, and at some point, if not maybe at the end, the back end of this year, but maybe early next year get a world title shot and it all depends on how the fight goes with um Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk and whether or not they what the belts get stripped at the end of it. So yeah, my thoughts is that Zili Zhang will at some point get to Josie Parker and knock him out. But that's my thoughts. Obviously it's heavyweight boxing and anyone could get knocked out and anyone could win. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think's gonna win and how KO points. Let me know, guys. As always, please subscribe and comment. Bless.